Hey everyone, I am really happy and I thought maybe that I can bring you something by sharing how this works for me. Two years ago, I went to a Vipassana center. This is a meditation retreat where you have to be silent for 10 days. And what I learned there was that the smallest things in life are the brightest and most beautiful things. <laughs> and since there is not much to do in a meditation retreat, I could see the whole group of people just be amazed by a simple thing like a squirrel. Whoa, a squirrel. And what I realized is that all the happiness, everything you look for, it's inside you all the time. And all you have to do is feel it. <laughs> Easier said than done. How do you do this, feel this happiness? Well, I think this has something to do with being in the now. Not to live for the future or the past, but for the present moment. The now is the moment that is always there. Still, a lot of times our head is in different moments. Maybe you are worrying about your work tomorrow or thinking about the test you screwed up today. Our thoughts are also the reason we suffer because we identify with them. For example, when I talk to someone I meet for the first time, I try to act cool. I do my hair nonchalant and I stand in a pose like, I don't care. I meet the person and we talk a bit. Later I go home and then the thoughts come. You should not have said this or you should have reacted differently or you are not good enough. And then again, I'm with my head in the past and this blocks me from seeing the beauty that is going on right now. And I promise you, this beauty is everywhere, all the time. So what helps me is to remember that these thoughts are just like clouds. They come and go. Maybe this is also the reason that in comics you see thought clouds. But just let your thoughts be. When you pay attention to them, they become stronger. So remember, in the present moment, everything is fine. The reason that I suffered in my life had a lot to do with my ego. This is me and this is how I present myself. This is my image. And when your identity does not fit with reality, you have a conflict. This also has a lot to do with how other people see you. But when you let go of how people see you, you will become completely free. Because then you realize that you are living for yourself. So personally, I learned to love myself and to enjoy every moment with myself. I do not need anyone else for that. And my experience is that I can share more positivity and happiness with others when I focus on feeling good myself first. And this in return brings even more happiness for the other person and for myself. Well, I hope I brought you something with the ideas I presented here. I went pretty fast through a lot of topics, so if you would like to hear more about something, just let me know and I will probably make a video about it. Thank you very much for watching. Tell me what you think about this and if you like this, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Have a great, awesome, inspiring day.